Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a flip through of my Hobonichi weeks for the year 2022 and we're going to finish the last week together because um, and I think color of some spa some pages that I'll put music to. I apologize in advance, there are constructions going on in the back of the building I live in and it's almost impossible to find the time and I wanted to record this so hopefully it's not too too bad. So in the yearly uh, view I have the um, YouTube tracker except that I skipped a whole month and I didn't realize that until like way later so I completely gave up and I don't trust anything in there. <laughs> like I started putting air, I mean it was just a mess. So I'm really excited to have the English uh, version because it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and it makes it much easier to not make mistakes. And I don't know that I would have, I don't know how, how did I skip a whole month? A uh, month is where I put everything, every outing, personal, um, a school, like um, anything major, appointments, bills due, everything's going to be here. Uh, I like to use personally, the paper made have been my like go-to, either the ultra fine or the medium. Although for this section, I prefer the ultra fine, but this I can tell is medium. I also use uh, Sarasa Nano and Zebra Sarasa Clip and I love love these in fact i think it's one of my most viewed videos a uh, review on these pens they're great and this is kind of like you see i have this one so it's a clip pen and um, this one i like it to be colorful and then a new addition is are the juice up 04 they're a little bit darker in color and sometimes i feel like you can't always tell like the difference uh, i use these mostly um in my other weeks i noticed um and then sometimes I just use, you know, my palette vanishing point. So at first it was a little bit just that, and I would put the YouTube, the YouTube tracking here too, just to have it in two spots and remind myself. Then I started kind of putting words of affirmation. And as you know, I'm very big on growth and trying to manifest your dreams and trying to be the best version of yourself. And I have a whole series that I started that is gonna keep on coming because I want to anything that I discover that helps me in my growth and and to be like the best version of myself I want to share obviously so yeah I started doing this and I really really love it and as you'll see I also have them on the week section and sometimes um, it feels like you're repeating the same things over and over but sometimes you're not and and to me they're significant like I was having a hard time focusing and because I do so many different things and just seeing that daily because I reference this every day um, I'm in my planner all day every day it comes with me everywhere and uh, yeah it's just um, I really really love it of course I have decoration you can recognize the coffee monster code um, these are from Sticky Club. I repurchased them a few times. I really like them. And then like I have some from, I think those are from AliExpress. I mean, I have a lot of like little ones. But as you see, this is taking more of, you can tell I have more of a process as the year goes. Like this is probably one of my favorite pages. And I always have this thing where I try to stay within some colors. Like this is clearly to me, um, blues and yellows. Um, but yeah and i don't obviously october is halloween it should be maybe orange and black or something i don't i don't go by that i just do whatever feels right um and a lot of times i'll like start decorating just because i'm on my planner and there's a sticker i like and i'm just oh, i'm gonna put it in the next month and i start doing that Okay, so this is where it ends, and then we go to the weeks. So the weeks, it's changed a little bit. Before, I would put my to-dos right across from the day, uh, or things that happen. Most of the this portion of my planner is more memory keeping, and it's more the things that I do that are me, personal, uh, not necessarily work or studying and everything. Um, and then at the end of the week, I like to put highlights of pictures I have. And so that, that went like this. And then you'll see, I kind of switch where everything is now in the bullet journal section. Uh, 
Uh, I exclusively was using the Zicklin Real Color Brushes to color, but now I really have gotten into uh, my watercolor pencils and I brought some uh, watercolors as well here to um, decorate. Anything that has glitter is a jelly roll. Those are my favorite. I use them all the time. I love glitter. We need more glitter everywhere. Um, so yeah, as you see, like it's very snap. Like this week, I think I only had one picture of my daughter and I. So that's what I did, and I left it like that. Now I am not an illustrator. I didn't start drawing again. I wasn't drawing at all as an adult until I started the Hobonichi Illustrated, which was I think 2017. I want to say that was my first year, and I did it daily. Um, I used to use a pencil. I don't have time, so sometimes. The drawings don't come out that great and I go with it because uh, I'm not doing this for any other reason than I love the actual like act of drawing and I also love looking through it and sometimes the really bad drawings come with giggles and then they become a memory in itself. And some weeks I mean, I don't have any pictures. Sometimes, obviously when um, my kids are home, there's a lot more pictures that happen, um, especially with the cats. <laughs> but uh, sometimes I don't, have, I don't have pictures, so I, you know, I'll just draw anything. This is when I started doing more tracking, I think. Yeah, I started doing the tracking here, and I liked having it on the weeks. Um, and for a while that worked. I used some different stencils I have. Um, then, as you see, I started doing, like this week, it was like, I call them word of affirmation, but they're my to-dos as well. It's just I like, I like the, this kind of like different uh, lettering and just so that it pops. So when you look at it, it's like right there. Um, And at some point, so I was doing the bullet journal uh, mostly. I don't know if there's something I can show you because I did a little bit in here and then I had to move. No, I think it's mostly in here. Um, yeah, like I was doing time tracking, which I set up, talking about not trying not to set up your weeks too early. I set up the back pages of the next weeks early and it has still the time blocking and honestly I mean it works sometimes but I think I prefer having just a list of what I need to do daily and just having a weekly list and then every day sitting down and say this is the stuff I want to accomplish today it's a little more dynamic but also it kind of resets you for the day if you can do that in the morning or the night before like tomorrow I have to do this um, yeah so that that worked quite a bit for me, I, I like having everything. This year is gonna be the first year in the Mega and I have to say I already love it. I love the idea that everything is gonna be, I won't have these anymore. The steps I track, I think I talked about it in my previous video, but I track in many places because it's something that I really, really try to do. Um, and if I don't, intentionally do it I can just have barely a mile a day because a lot of my times can be spent in front of a computer either studying or you know photoshopping it's like a lot of it is not very active so if I don't make um, you know very focused effort to walk then it doesn't happen and in fact you can see it 0.3 two miles this is like pretty bad At the beginning of the year I was doing really good but you know like i can tell which days i went on actual walks and i feel better and it helps my back i can get back aches yeah i really like how dynamic this this is this is you know this is kind of like memory wise it's almost like a letter to myself it's all the stuff i want to focus on um, growth wise and for me and then memories and the steps and it, it kind of gives me a snapshot of my week 
Now I still have, you see the tracker gets smaller and smaller. I still have somewhat of a tracker, but it is, it always changes, which is, that's the beauty, right, of when you actually draw out your own stuff, is that you can change it. And that's why I, I always, if you're going to ask me what should I do, monthly or weekly trackers, I think weekly trackers are better because you can uh, sit, and I talked about it in, I think it's episode two of um, growth and how to use journaling to manifest a better life. And one of the things is to be a detective of who you are and what you need to do to accomplish the things you want to accomplish. And the trackers can really help you with that. And if they're weekly, you can look at them while you draw next week and figure out why you didn't do the stuff you wanted to do this week and then try to refocus either the energy so you do it or maybe realize that maybe this is not for right now for you. See, I had no pictures. And since in my Illustrated journal, for some reason, I did, after I did Inktober, and I love doing the Hobonichi challenge too, I just pick and choose kind of thing. Um, I've done a lot of ballet dancers almost every day. And I just, you know, I love ballet anyways. But yeah, so this is the last week <laughs> we're gonna do. So I have my iPad here, because usually I do it on my phone, which is one of the reasons there's not that many videos of me doing that because if I'm not looking at a picture, it's not going to happen. So we house sat um, my, and my friend had a piano and my daughter started teaching herself how to play it. And then I did too. I, I, I'm trying to learn a little bit the one of Amélie's song, the movie from the soundtrack. Now I don't have the piano anymore, but I think I think a keyboard would be a good way to do this, and that way we can both practice.
Yeah, that was a great year. Thank goodness. Um, so I hope you guys are having fun and your new planners if you moved in already. And I hope this video wasn't too noisy um, or too long. Thanks for watching if you're still here. Bye bye.